tonight is all about you. We are so proud of you. I want to take the time to introduce some members of your team that are so thrilled to be here tonight in support of you. First, our teacher, Lindsay Becker. And our skills trainer, Jennifer Moody. And then um, our host this evening, Northern Kentucky University, um, Provost uh, Ron Ott could not be here, but Nancy Barger, I think, is going to represent her. Nancy, thank you for being here. <laughs>
And now, Dr. David Rest will address our intent. Good evening. So, uh, I had originally written like a speech, and uh, I was going to talk about the program and then talk to the interns, but um, I think most everybody in this room knows why we're here. And so, I'm really not going to get into that. I, I just want to take a moment, though, uh, like Ms. Kephart said, I want to thank those folks that have come together in collaboration to make this happen. It's a very special program. I know it's a program that has kind of been in the works to get together. We got a little seed money. We were able to get it going. And um, Dr. Strayer and I worked together in Boone County. And I know how good of a planner she is and, and how much she cares about kids. And, and then being able to work out with Northern is very special as well. I don't, I don't think people realize uh, how large universities, the numbers of different career fields that are encompassed within a large university. And, to have the opportunities that our students have at Northern is very special. And uh, I want to thank uh, Northern Kentucky University for cooperating with us uh, to help make this happen. Uh, we're also getting to work with, with Beachwood. And we're really looking forward to expanding the program. And I think we've got four other school districts uh, uh, across the region that are going to partner with us next year. So very excited uh, about what we've been able to accomplish in this first year and very much looking forward um, to reaping the benefits of an expanded program in years to come. So I'm just pretty excited about that. So like I said, I, I've written kind of a speech, and, and I really don't think that's appropriate based on the group that I'm speaking to. What I want to do instead, and I jotted down a few things, is I want to say a few things um, to our students, to our interns, um, about the future. And I have a little poem that I want to read to you as well. Um, here's some words of advice. And this comes as a person who's worked for a very long time. And I've been a school administrator for 17 years. And I want to just give some words of wisdom. So the first thing for our interns, for our students, is to be brave. Always be brave. Be willing to work hard and be willing to try new things. Because there's lots of opportunities out there. We can't be afraid of what may be next. Uh, there's three keys that I want to share with you. The first one is, is always be brave enough to ask questions and to ask for help. As we work through, especially anytime we're in a new situation or a new job, or we meet new people and we learn a new skill, um, there's going to be opportunities to learn. And we've got to be willing to ask the people around us for help uh, and ask them how to do it the best way. And so one of my words of advice is to ask questions and don't be afraid to ask for help. My second key for success is don't be afraid of making a mistake. We all make mistakes. 24 years in this profession, I still make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And I'm not afraid to make mistakes because I know that I learn from them and I try not to repeat those mistakes. So don't be afraid to mis make a mistake. But when you do, own it. And 
don't be afraid to say, I'm sorry, I'll do it better the next time. I still do that even to this day. And finally, the third thing is say thank you to those who we work with and for those who deserve it. Um, I know that these three keys I've worked on my whole career. And I, I've had moments in time where I was not all that great at it, and I work on it every day. So again, I want to make sure that I ask for help, um, that I'm not afraid to make mistakes, and that I'm willing to say thank you to those around me. So I want to share that with our, our interns, and I hope you're able to use those little nuggets of advice as you move forward. So I had a poem that I wanted to share with you, and it's a poem by Susan Polis Schultz. And it's about taking power and having power and using it um, to get the most out of your life. And the poem is, this life is yours. Take the power to choose what you want to do and do it well. Take the power to love what you want in life and love it honestly. Take the power to walk in the forest and be part of nature. Take the power to control your own life. No one else can do this for you. Nothing is too good for you. You deserve the best. Take the power to make your life healthy exciting and worthwhile. Take the time, I'm sorry, the time is now. Take the power to create a successful and a happy life. And I just want to congratulate the interns of the, the Norse Project Search. I just want to encourage you to go out and do your very best. Thank you.
before I get into the provost's remarks, that when I was watching this video that we just sh showed, um, I found it really interesting because I think it was made at the beginning of the year, and all of you interns look so young. And now I think when you're walking around on campus, you look so mature and like the rest of our staff here, which is great. And I think that's the wonderful thing about Project Search is not only the job skills that you learn, learning how to do laundry is important, but also um, the soft skills, the way you carry yourself, the way you communicate, all those kinds of things are things that I have personally seen all of you grow in so much this year, especially after watching the video of when you started. But, on to the provost's remarks. So um, she says that she would like to welcome the NKU faculty, staff, and administrators, um, the staff and administration from Campbell County and Beachwood Independent Schools, staff from OVR, staff from Baywick, and all the parents, and of course, all of the interns. We are so proud at NKU to host this Norse Project search, and I think as Marinelle alluded to, partly because we are the first university in Kentucky to have Project Search here. Um, and Project Search is mutually beneficial to all the partners, including NKU, including Baywick, including Campbell County Schools, including the interns, and that is what is the beauty of it. It is a win, 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 win for everybody. Because from one perspective, NKU is serving the interns by providing a professional work environment that helps train them with marketable skills. And Project Search interns receive training, feedback, and mentorship and are better entered to employment, are better prepared to enter employment. So that is really what people think of, oh, that's why we're doing Project Search. But what we have learned in this year of hosting Project Search at NKU is the reality is that NKU and its employees benefit from having the Project Search interns here just as much as the Project Search interns benefit from being here. And we've talked to a few of the ho our intern, our people who have hosted the interns, and here are some of the things that they have said about our interns. Tammy Fryman, who is the HR manager um, over at bb and Arena, she says, NKU's Project Search has had an overwhelmingly positive impact at bb and Arena. I feel oh, that we as the managers have been the true interns during this process. We've grown so much with eagerness and positivity that both Alicia and Miles bring in the building each and every morning. As managers, we've been able to expand our attention to detail, specifically with projects, training skills, and overall team positivity. It has definitely been a team effort, and we are grateful that we were selected to be part of such a life-enhancing experience for Alicia and Miles. We are definitely stronger because of Project Search, and I couldn't be more proud. Then Lauren Franzen, who is um, the Director of HR Management Services, said, our department learned so much from our intern. She was always a smiling face. She gave us a new perspective on ourselves as well as the work that we do here at NKU. And then Patrick McGrath, who is the Associate Director over at Campus Rec, said, working with Project Search interns this academic year has been an extremely positive experience for our department. Watching our students grow in their mentorship and leadership abilities Working alongside the interns has been as rewarding as watching the interns develop themselves. Each intern has demonstrated improvements in experience and abilities, making them better prepared for employment and showing the positive results this program offers. We look forward to hosting more interns next year. So, as the provost says, we hope it's obvious how proud we are and how much we appreciate having Project Search as part of our campus. Now we'll hear from Dory Lappy. Hello everyone and good evening. 
My name is Lori Gossie, and I would like to thank you for coming to the first annual North Project Search and Interior Celebration. My internship locations were Human Resource Department Food and Health Council Institute of Wellness Center. In the HR department, I only have a file, shed, create spreadsheets, make copies of practice advertising. In the Health Council Institute of Wellness Center, I assisted the nurses with tasks such as bringing patients to the UCAM room, taking patient vital signs, to assign to patient rooms, and restocking cabinets with supplies. Project Search has taught me how to stay on task, to have a positive attitude, and how to take initiative during bad time. The best thing about being in Project Search was going to the Jose, Jose House on a community outreach trip. It made me feel proud to be able to help the people in need. Pro Project Search also helped me get a full-time job seasons. Um, <laughs> advice I would like to give to the future interns is you need to stay on task in order to get everything done in the time that it is provided. This program helped me get a full time job and it would help you too if you work hard and are persistent in achieving your goals. I would like to thank Ms. Becker and Ms. Moody for all the, for, for all the help this year, throughout this year and never giving up on me. I would also like to thank Grace and Michelle for giving me the experience I need to get a job in healthcare. Thank you all for coming tonight. It's been a pleasure. Now we have a new talent collection. Josh Thomas. Josh Thomas, I would like to thank you for coming to the Norris Project Search end of year celebration. My three internships rotation were the Biology Lab and Greenhouse, Psychology Lab, and the College of Education Office. In the Biology Lab in Greenhouse, I went, I weeded the plants, visited the animals, swept the floors, and cleaned the lab. And in the Psychology Lab, I cleaned cages, uh, refilled cages with clean bedding, transferred rats into clean cages, and refilled food and water bottles. In the education office, I learned how to file and alphabetize, shred paper, assemble packets, make copies, sort robotics pieces, and create spreadsheets. Project Search taught me time management <coughs> skills, how to stay on task, and how to communicate better with others. My favorite internship task in Project Search was weeding the plants in the greenhouse because it was a very relaxing job task for me. <laughs> Advice that I would like to give future interns is be responsible and show up on time and always work hard and do your best. I would like to thank Aaron Serafin, Dr. Mark Barger, and Dr. Roland Sintos Kalama for helping me develop skills to be a successful employee. Thank you.
Mitchell R. Thomas. Thank <laughs> you. 